I also am uh, pleasantly surprised, let's say, that I've been in Sanofi for 20 years. It's not something that you plan, but I think what's good about this company is because every two to three years, something new happens uh, to me, whether I assume a new role I, or I go to another country. But I think it's this kind of new challenges that makes me stay. Uh, because otherwise, I think my personality would be easily bored if I'm doing the same thing all over again. When you move, especially for female leaders like me, so I am a wife, I am a mom, I have two kids. I think the challenge in terms of when I move, everybody moves with me. So I think it's more the adjustment of the whole family in terms of the move. Fairly, we have been doing this in the past 10 years. Uh, it has been uh, fulfilling uh, to an extent not just for me, but also for my kids. I mean, it's very different and very great to see my children. I mean, example for my youngest one, when we started to travel, he was just two years old. And you can imagine that primarily the international market is his, uh, let's say, family or where he uh, grew up. But the opportunity of seeing other cultures, uh, seeing other places, uh, having new friends, which is entirely, let's say, different from our culture. This is a great opportunity for the family to have. We have to be very clear on what is our purpose. Why are we doing this? I think that purpose makes you would want to jump up in the morning and say, this is all worth it. I would like to do this. The second thing I think is you should really have a very good support system. So support system in terms of, of course, for me, it's my family. My husband has been really great in terms of yourself. Never lose the optimism, never lose hope. I mean, always have this, um, uh, let's say, sunshine in your head that things will get better. I mean, adjustment is part of uh, each and every thing that you go through, especially for transitions like this. Actually, I don't believe in work-life balance. More and more now, you know, it's work-life integration. It's never a balance. It's never 50-50 unfortunately. So this work-life integration, how do you find the right level of what to give, what to take? Because example for me, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a daughter. I mean, this kind of work-life integration is very important. At the end of the day, I think outside of our achievements of, of whatever it is at work, when you go home, this is still what is the most important. How are your kids? How are your relationship with your family? Is it the right values by which they are uh, growing up with? I mean, according to how you would like to raise them. Um, are they, you know, becoming the kind of person that you would want them to be? Uh, I think these are, for me, more important. Of course, I think for my kids, simply I'm their mom. So being a mom, I would uh, hope that I am a role model, me and my husband, for them. I think across culture, my learning is people are inherently the same in the sense that I think inherently people are good. So it's just that, um, you know, the golden rule, you do unto others what you want others to do unto you. I think this is very important. So as a parent, I, I hope that I'm role modeling this. I hope also that my kids see that uh, the value of resiliency, you know, uh, the value of hard work, the value of speaking up, raising your hand, taking that opportunity. Because sometimes opportunity, yes, they come, but sometimes you have to create it. Sometimes you have to build it. And when it's there, you have to grab it. It's yours. As a person, whether male or female, doesn't matter. I think we, have, we need to dream and we need to dream big. That's why they're called dreams. It needs to be as big and as high as you can possibly, possibly have it. Uh, because then you also will have this stretchability uh, and drive uh, in yourself to be able to achieve it. I don't really have something major that I regret about. Perhaps maybe one would be I wish I would have raised my hand earlier, let's say, in terms of mobility because it really paved a lot of great things for me.